Welcome, ADOS Aiming by Jack Short. In today's short video, we're going to do an Acura setup for the ADOS radar and the camera calibration. So we're going to start off with a plumb bob in the back and mark the spot exactly center. And we're going to repeat the same process on the front. First and foremost, we need a center line of the vehicle. The easiest way to do it is with a plumb bob. The front bumper has a slight curve and a point, so you do have to take your time to make sure that it doesn't fall to either side, that it actually stays in the center. Once that is accomplished, <clears throat> we're going to take some measurements from the center of the front tire. So we're going to use the Honda tool, which just has a simple stick that goes up into the center cap and it makes it easy to find the center of any wheel. I use this tool on many other cars. And I'm going to mark the center of the two front wheels. And put a piece of tape, mark it down, and I'm done. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Now I'm ready to take some measurements from the two front tires. But before I do that, I'm going to stretch out the center line. And tape the center line way ahead of the vehicle and make sure that the line is stretched out and it goes right across the center dot in the front of the vehicle. And that's going to be my base, not only for the front radar, but also for the front camera calibration. Now I'm going to set a spot on either side of the vehicle at exactly 4,000 millimeters because that's where Honda wants me to place the front triangle target to calibrate the front radar sensor. This car just came out of the collision and they replaced the front bumper grill and they also replaced the windshield. So that's why we're doing both on this vehicle. With these green laser lights, they're so bright, it is so easy to set it up and it's so accurate. <clears throat> I can zero in right at 4,000 millimeters. Look at that. I mean, it's down to a fraction of a point. It is unbelievable how accurate you can point these things. So that's my left side, and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the right side. I'm just going to place any target right at the line of the center of the front wheel, and then I'm going to point my laser on it so I can find the 4,000 mark on both sides of the vehicle. It's really simple and easy to do. I know there's a lot of complex systems out there to do this, but I still find it more accurate to do it manually. Now that I have these two spots, I'm going to just take a straight piece of aluminum. You could use any ruler or any bar and line it up left and right to make sure that it's perfectly straight. This particular ruler is raised up of the ground, so it allows the center line to run freely underneath it. And I'm going to mark this with a piece of tape. Now I'm ready to adjust the height of the triangle right into the center of the radar. A lot of cars use specific millimeter height, but on this vehicle, Acura tells you to just put the comb right in the center. And now it's easy for me to set it up because I got the center line. The piece of tape is exactly at 4,000 millimeters, and the center line runs right underneath the frame without touching it. So I can center this cone, this triangle cone, and I can also make sure that it's perfectly straight with the vehicle. So the very tip at the end of the cone is not pointed to the left or the right. It's actually facing straight the radar. And the height is already adjusted, and that is all I need to get the calibration done on this front radar. Now I'm ready to fire up the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS. This system is online, you log in, you pay for a subscription, you could do a short term or yearly subscription, I'm going to go right into the ADAS. Once I'm in the ADAS, I got adjustments. I'm going to go into radar aiming, that's the first thing I want to accomplish. You can see the TDC is blinking in the bottom, but I'm not concerned about that. Now I'm going to go into perform ADAS. Now, Acura Honda wants you to remove the target before you start. 
because the radar actually scans the area and makes sure that there's no obstruction. There's nothing that bounces off before you start. If there's anything in that area, it's going to tell you that it's not right. Now it's telling me to put the target in place. I already pre-marked the spot. And the frame of this ADOS aiming patent pending tool, the front of the frame is the very tip of the cone. So as long as I line that up with my mark and I make sure that the center line runs right through the center, it only takes me a second. And look at that. Radar aiming has been complete. I'm done with the ADOS radar alignment. Turn the ignition key off, turn it on, and off we go. Now we're going to set up the front camera lane departure target. So we're going to use the same base of the radar. We're going to put a taller pole in it. Now, by the way, all of these sticks and parts is available from Honda directly. You don't have to go to Snap-on. You don't have to go to Special Tools. You can actually go to OEM Honda Parts and type in these part numbers, and they're available online. Here's the part number of these targets. And you just select the entire kit, and it's going to come with the, all these poles and all these things you can select. <clears throat> and it's all under the category of LKAS. And now I'm going to put it together. It's kind of, it looks flimsy, it's not very solid, but it works. As long as you measure the distance, the distance between the targets is already pre-measured because you can only put them in one spot. And now I'm going to go in, and this is a two-part calibration. We're going to do the static camera first. I'm going to select 5 millimeter because the car is a 2020. We're already in 2022. But I didn't fast forward this video. Watch how fast. It just did the center. Now I'm hitting next and it's doing the left. Now I'm hitting next and it's doing the right. This is the actual time that it takes to do all three targets at the same time. And now turn the ignition on, off, and the, that part is all done. Now on Acura Honda, after you've done that, you have to go out and do the dynamic. The dynamic, depending on the traffic and how much stop and go, you can't do it in sunrise. And now I'm just going to drive the vehicle. It took me about 10 minutes. Traffic was pretty heavy, considering for this time of day. And you can't do it when the sun is rising at your windshield or you're driving against the sunset. You can't do it when it's too dark. You have to maintain, like right now I'm only doing 20 miles an hour, so and I'm coming to a stop. It doesn't stop the program, but it just waits for you to continue driving at least 40 miles, 45 miles an hour, and have some distance in front of you so it could start learning the, the lines on the road and calibrate the camera. So like I said, it took me only about 10 minutes. Traffic was pretty heavy here, but here we're starting to move, and the lights are blinking on the dash are different once it starts learning, like when it's actually learning the LKAS light goes off, the camera starts blinking, as you can see right now. But after a few minutes driving, it finished blinking, it, the, and all those lights went off, and it finally calibrated. I think it took me just about 10 minutes. I fast-forwarded the video, but once it's complete, all the lights go off, and the computer says that the dynamic camera aiming is complete, and you're done. Now you just got to pull over to the side, shut the key off, turn it back on, and the lights are green. Now, once it's calibrated and you completed that, all of the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel come to life. I can turn on the main button, which turns on the camera and the radar. And then I can also push the buttons to adjust the distance that I want to keep between the car in front of me and myself. And I'm setting the cruise control, but of course when I want to test it, and I want some cars to be in front of me, now I'm driving completely on cruise control. Now there are no cars in front of me, so I can't even see if it's going to stop. But ADAS aiming is done. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like these technology videos and give me the thumbs up. Thank you for watching ADAS aiming.